Adobe Systems has given Acrobat 10 a simplified user interface along with many new and improved features. The free Adobe Reader 10 sports a similar new look. It has its own set of enhanced capabilities. We'll take a quick look at the new Reader UI and check out a couple new commenting tools, namely Sticky Note and Highlight Text. In the past, reader users have been able to access the full set of commenting tools only if the author of a PDF file enabled so-called extended writes, which could be added using Acrobat Professional. When reader 8 or 9 is used to open an extended writes PDF, the comment and markup toolbar provides access to the same set of annotation tools available in the full version of Acrobat. This allows reader users to participate in comment and review workflows. The same option remains available in Acrobat 10 and Reader 10. As before, these special rights can only be applied on a document-by-document -document basis. Reader 10 now provides users with two commonly used, always available, commenting tools. No special rights are required. Let's take a look. I've launched Reader 10 on a Macintosh and I'm opening a non-rights enabled PDF file. As an Acrobat 10, the new Reader UI includes several task panes on the right side where commonly used features can be accessed. In Reader 10, the names of the two panes, Comment and Share, appear at the top right of the toolbar. If you open a Rights Enabled PDF, you'll also see a Tools pane. Click on the comment heading to open its task pane where you can access the new annotation tools. Below them is the comments list where any annotations will appear. With the PDF file open and the comment pane displayed, select the sticky note tool. Note that it also has an icon in the Reader 10 toolbar, part of the quick tools area. If you have used Sticky Notes in Acrobat, it works the same in Reader 10. With the Sticky Note tool activated, click its icon where you want to add a text message in a pop-up note. The comment box opens, showing your login name and the time your note is being added. You can adjust other appearance settings, such as color and opacity, by opening the Tools Properties or the Text Properties windows. Type your message into the text area. You can also copy and paste text into the note. A note icon will appear on the file. A user can click on the icon to open the note and read the message and to reply to it if desired. You can set the Sticky Notes property so that the tool remains active. To delete a note, right click its icon, then choose Delete. Now let's try the new Highlight Text tool, which is the electronic equivalent of using a yellow marker on paper. In the Task pane or the Quick Tools area of the toolbar, activate the Highlighting tool. Place its icon where you want to begin and drag to include the exact text you want to emphasize. There's a checkbox in its Properties window that allows you to keep the tool active so you can continue to read and highlight. Any notes or blocks of highlighted text added to a PDF file will be visible in the comments list. You can sort and filter comments by various categories or hide those you don't want to see.
Reader 10 also provides the ability to search for specific terms and view only comments that match. The new commenting tools in Reader 10 are included primarily for personal use, such as providing a student an easy way to highlight important text in a reading assignment. The always available commenting tools aren't meant for collaborating with groups of users in complex shared review workflows. You'll need Acrobat 10 for that.